everybody, this is Praxis, and you'll notice that we are now on the east side uh, of the house. Uh, that might suggest to you that, wow, that, that west side's all done. Uh, you know, now we're moved over here. Not true. Uh, we did get, what, I think three trusses up on the other yeah. side? Oh, well, rafters. Uh, yeah. Technically not a truss, rafter. I, what's the difference? Uh, the, do you want to get into that? Yeah, I do. What's okay, the difference? Well, a, a truss would be a... Uh, uh, a bunch of pieces put together to distribute a load. Okay. Like, it, like I get a prefab house. Okay. Its roof uh, uh, sections would be trusses. Okay, so the trusses is all the pieces together. Yeah, yeah, and it's right. distributing the load. Okay, this so a truss is made out of joists. Uh, Rafters, and, 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 and studs and headers and yeah. Okay, I hope that was educational. I'm more confused now than I was before. But these are just <laughs> rafters. <laughs> okay, so we're putting up the rafters. We've got three rafters on the other side. Uh, but we wanted to pop over here because before the end of the day, I wanted to uh, have all this set so that I can do all those little mini studs in here. Uh, because this part of the process is my dad's part of the process. He's got it all worked out in his head. And he's going to tell you what we're doing right now here that I want him to do before he leaves. So when he's gone, I can finish all this stuff. Go. Well, we set up the first rafter on the pitch that we wanted, which is slightly over a six pitch. Yep. And... Uh, secured it in the corner so it kind of establishes a reference. We then at the other end threw another rafter in and ensured that we had exactly the same pitch. And now we've got... And we did that, by the way, by, with my dad walking way over there and just eyeballing to make sure that they were all in line with each other yeah, we, we, while I held it up. In, in that way, we can ensure that they're truly parallel because if you're just trying to measure it with a level in a scale, yeah, and you're off like a sixteenth of an inch by over you know sixteen feet, yeah, substantial. But if you eyeball it, uh, I think we're probably you know really close. as close as we possibly could be in yeah. getting the two rafters parallel to each other. So we've established the two corners. We're going to run a line from a common point on each corner. Yeah, and that's what we got here. And uh, now that gives us a true reference down to the uh, the, the, uh, the the pad uh, on the uh, that we're going to build our studs off of, All and right. then we'll we'll uh, you'll put a couple of uh, thickness of the header plate on that, and that's going to establish the support for all of the rafters on this end of the wall. Yeah. Um, so you can see why I'm leaving this part to my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Just following it there. It's, it's a lot, but you want to make it. Uh, as perfect as you can at this stage because if you create errors you're going to be dealing with well, we, we them at some a, point you keep adjusting yeah for the variations that you're right. just naturally going to get but you don't want all your errors to accumulate and then you're dealing with them while you're up at the top of the ladder over there so so that's where we are today and uh tomorrow everything will be up not really not at all <laughs> thanks for watching